Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome everyone to this new English language lesson on Honorwa TV. I wish you all a good time as well as a maximum benefit. Words like tall, short, big, small are called adjectives. We use them to describe nouns or pronouns. So today we will talk about comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. Again, comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. But before we start, let's play this game. Find the adjectives. Find the adjectives. In this game, you will have 10 seconds to look at some pictures. After that, you will have to find the adjectives of the pictures in a table. Now, look at the pictures. You have 10 seconds. Start now. Time is over. Now, look at the table and try to find the adjectives. You have 10 seconds. Go now. Time is over. Now, let's try to find the adjectives together. Now, the first one is tall. The second one is hot. And we have happy here, the fourth is young, and the last one is boring. So these are the five adjectives the pictures represent. Tall, hot, happy, young, and boring. Now, dear students, look with me at this picture. Look here. Do you have any clue about this picture? What is it? This vast universe was created by Almighty God with no slight error in creation. And we live on a planet Earth. We live on a planet Earth. And planet Earth is part of the solar system. The sun and the nine famous planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now let's read a text about the solar system and answer some questions after that. Let's read and answer. Mercury is the smallest planet and the nearest to the Sun. Venus is further than Mercury. It's bigger and more beautiful. It's the brightest planet in the night sky. Earth, the planet we live on, is the best planet for life. It's bigger than Mercury and it's quite far from the Sun. Mars is the second smallest planet after Mercury. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Saturn and Uranus are the most beautiful ones. Neptune and Pluto are the farthest and the coldest planets. Now, dear students, let's read the text once again. Mercury is the smallest planet and the nearest to the Sun. Venus is further than Mercury. It's bigger and more beautiful. It's the brightest planet in the night sky. Earth, the planet we live on, is the best planet for life. It's bigger than Mercury and it's quite far from the Sun. Mars is the second smallest planet after Mercury. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Saturn and Uranus are the most beautiful ones. Neptune and Pluto are the farthest and the coldest planets. Thank you. After we have read the text twice, let's do this activity. True or false. You have to decide whether the sentences are true or false based on the text you have read. 1. Mercury is the smallest planet. Is it true or false? Great, it's true. Mercury is the smallest and the nearest to the Sun. 2. Venus is further than Mercury and smaller as well. Is it right or wrong? Excellent, this is wrong. Venus is further than Mercury, it's true. But it's not smaller, it's bigger than Mercury, so it's wrong. 3. Earth is the best planet for life. Is it true or false? Great, it's true. Earth 
is the only planet with life so far. 4. Jupiter is very big but not the largest. Is it true or false? Good, it's false. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. 5. Saturn and Uranus are the most beautiful planets. Based on the text, is it right or wrong? Great, it's right. Saturn and Uranus are the most beautiful. And the last one, Neptune and Pluto are the farthest and the coldest. True or false? Great, it's true. They are the farthest and the coldest. Now, dear students, after we have done this activity, let's look once again at these sentences. Mercury is smaller than Venus. Mercury is smaller than Venus. Venus is nearer to the sun than Earth. Venus is nearer to the sun than Earth. Earth is bigger than Mercury. Earth is bigger than Mercury. Look at these sentences. In these sentences, we are comparing two items, one item to another. For example, Mercury to Venus, Venus to Earth, and Earth to Mercury. So we are comparing two items. And look at the adjectives we used. We used short adjectives, small, near, and big. So this is called the comparative form of short adjectives. We call it the comparative form of short adjectives. Look at these sentences. Mercury is the nearest planet to the sun. Mercury is the nearest planet to the sun. Jupiter is the largest planet. Jupiter is the largest planet. Earth is the best planet for life. Earth is the best planet for life. Neptune and Pluto are the farthest planets. Now, in these sentences, we are not comparing two items, one item to another. We are comparing one item to the rest of the items. So, here we are comparing Mercury to the rest of the planets. It's the nearest to the sun. Jupiter is the largest. One planet to the rest of the planets, it's the largest. Earth, compared to the rest of the planets, is the best for life. And here, Neptune and Pluto, compared to the rest of the planets, are the farthest and the coldest. And this is called the superlative form of short adjectives. Again, the superlative form of short adjectives. Now, dear students, we will have a short break. After the break, we will discuss short adjectives, the comparative and the superlative forms. Stay with us. Welcome back. In this part, we will talk about short adjectives. We will start with the comparative form of short adjectives. The comparative form of short adjectives. Now look at these two boys, Ahmed and Ali. Which one is taller? Great. Ahmed is taller than Ali. Ahmed is taller than Ali. We are comparing Ahmed to Ali. And Ahmed is taller than. Taller than the comparative form. It's formed by the adjective tall plus er plus than. Again, the adjective plus er plus than. It's a short adjective. Look at this one. Which one is cheaper, the bike or the car? Normally, bikes are cheaper. So, bikes are cheaper than cars. Bikes are cheaper than cars. Look here, cheaper than. We are comparing bikes to cars. So, we used the comparative form of short adjectives, cheaper than. It's formed by the adjective cheap plus er plus than. Again, we have a short adjective cheap, only one syllable. Look here. Which are bigger, elephants or lions? Great. Elephants are bigger than lions. Again, elephants are bigger than lions. We are comparing elephants to lions, two items. And we used bigger than, bigger than. Again, the adjective big plus er plus than. And notice here we have doubled the last consonant. Why? Big is one syllable, short vowel adjective. So we have doubled the g and then added er and then than. The last picture, look at these two boys. The boy says, my bag is heavier than yours. Again, my bag is heavier than yours. He says, heavier than, heavier than, the adjective heavy plus er plus than. 
And look at the adjective heavy. It ends with Y. That's why we changed the Y into I and added ER and then THAN. So, dear students, the comparative form of short adjectives is formed by the adjective plus ER plus THAN. Again, the comparative form of short adjectives is formed by the adjective plus ER plus THAN. Now, dear students, let's see some more examples about the comparative form of short adjectives. For example, small, smaller than, small, smaller than, long, longer than, long, longer than, short, shorter than, short, shorter than, and the last one, fast, faster than, fast, faster than. All the adjectives are short. Now let's move to talk about the superlative form of short adjectives. The superlative form of short adjectives. Now look at this picture here. This is a picture of a river. Now, think with me. What is the longest river in the world? Do you know? Excellent. River Nile is the longest in the world. River Nile is the longest in the world. So we are comparing River Nile to the rest of the rivers in the world. So we use the superlative form, the longest. It's formed by the plus the adjective long and then the EST. So this is called a superlative form, a superlative form of short adjectives. Look here. Dina is the shortest in the class. Dina is the shortest in the class. In the class, Dina is the shortest student. Compared to the rest of the class, she is the shortest. The shortest. This is a superlative form. It's formed by the plus the adjective short and then the EST. Look here. This is Ahmad. Ahmad is the thinnest boy in the class. Ahmad is the thinnest boy in the class. According to the whole class, Ahmad is the thinnest boy. So we use the superlative form, the thinnest. The plus the adjective thin and then the EST. And notice here, thin is very short, one syllable, short vowel adjective. So we have doubled the last consonant and then added the EST. Look at this girl and her father. She seems extremely happy and she says, I am the happiest girl in the world to have a father like mine. Again, I am the happiest girl in the world to have a father like mine. So compared to the girls in the world, she is the happiest girl ever. So she used the happiest, the happiest, the superlative form. It's formed by the plus the adjective happy plus the EST. Again, happy ends with Y. That's why we changed the Y into I and added EST. Now, dear students, so this is called the superlative form and it's formed by the plus the adjective plus the EST. Again, the superlative form of short adjectives is formed by the plus the adjective plus the EST. Now, let's see some examples. Small, smaller, the smallest. Long, longer, the longest. Short, shorter, the shortest. Now, dear students, note. Look at the adjective hot. Hot is very short adjective. That's why when we want to use it in the comparative form, we have to say hotter. What have we done here? We have doubled the last consonant T and then added the ER. And in the superlative form, again, we doubled the last consonant and then added EST. So, hot, hotter, hottest. And look at the adjective easy. Easy is an adjective that ends with Y. So, in the comparative form, we have to say easier, easier. Look at the spelling. We have changed the Y into I and added the ER in the comparative form. And in the superlative form, we again changed the Y into I and added the EST. So, easy, easier, easiest. Easy, easier, easiest. So, when we have, again, when we have short adjectives like hot, thin, big, you have to double the last consonant, add the ER in the comparative form, and double the consonant and add the EST in the superlative form. And when you have a short adjective that ends with Y, you have to change the Y into I, 
add er in the comparative form and est in the superlative form. What about the odd adjectives? Look at these three adjectives, good, bad, and far. Can we say good, gooder, goodest? Bad, badder, baddest? Far, farer, farest? No, this is wrong. That's why good becomes bitter in the comparative form and best in the superlative form. This is an odd adjective. You have to memorize it. Good, bitter, best. What about bad? Look here. Bad, worse, worst. Bad, worse, worst. And the last one, far. Farther, farthest. Or we can write U instead of A. So far, further, furthest. Again, let's read the three adjectives together. Good, bitter, best, bad, worse, worst, far, further, furthest. So, dear students, after we have discussed the comparative and the superlative forms of short adjectives, it's time to practice. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. 1. Giraffes are taller, the tallest, tallest among the animals. Look here, we are talking about giraffes among the whole animals. So, it should be the superlative form. And tall is a short adjective. So, use the superlative form of short adjectives. The plus the adjective plus the EST. So, the answer is a great. The tallest. The tallest. Giraffes are the tallest among the animals. Again, giraffes are the tallest among the animals. Two, this question is easier, easy, or easiest than the first question. We are comparing two questions. The first question to this question. So, this is a comparative form. And the answer is great. Easier. Easier. This question is easier than the first question. Number three. Your computer is bad, worse, or worse than mine. This is a comparative form. So, the answer is a great Worse. Worse is the comparative form of the odd adjective bad. So the sentence is, your computer is worse than mine. Four, honesty is the good, best, bitter trait in a man. What is the answer? And notice here we have the. So this is the superlative form. And the answer is amazing. Best, best. Honesty is the best trait in a man. Honesty is the best trait in a man. The last one. Five. Winter is colder, cold, coldest than autumn. We are comparing winter to autumn. Two items. So this is a comparative form. And cold is a short adjective. So the answer is a great. Colder. Colder. Winter is colder than autumn. Now, dear students, it's time to have another short break. After the break, we will talk about long adjectives, the comparative and the superlative forms. Stay with us. Welcome back. In this part, we will talk about long adjectives. Long adjectives. Look at the two boys here, Ahmed and Ali. They are talking about two school subjects, English and Arabic. Now, let's listen to the conversation that happened between them. I think Arabic is the most important and the easiest subject we study at school. I don't agree. I think English is more important. It is the language of communication. But it is more difficult than Arabic. It needs lots of study and practice. For me, it is more interesting than any other subject. I love English. Now, dear students, let's listen to the conversation once again. I think Arabic is the most important and the easiest subject we study at school. I don't agree. I think English is more important. It is the language of communication. But it is more difficult than Arabic. It needs lots of study and practice. For me, it is more interesting than any other subject. I love English. Thank you for listening. 
Now, dear students, let's see some of the things the boys mentioned. Look at Ali. Ali says, English is more important than Arabic. Ali loves English, so he says, English is more important than Arabic. Look at Ahmed. Ahmed says, English is more difficult than Arabic. English is more difficult than Arabic. And again, Ali says, English is more interesting than Arabic. Again, English is more interesting than Arabic. Notice here, they are talking about two subjects, Arabic and English. So this is a comparative form. And look at the adjectives they used. Important, difficult, interesting. These adjectives are long. Look here, M, poor, tank, three syllables. D, fi, cult, three syllables. N, Interesting, three syllables. So, this is called the comparative form. Comparative form of long adjectives. And it's formed by more plus the adjective plus than. Again, more plus the adjective plus than. More important than. More difficult than. More interesting than. Now, let's see some examples. The car and the bike. Which one is more expensive? The bike or the car, the car or the bike. Which one is more expensive? A great. The car is more expensive than the bike. Again, the car is more expensive than the bike. We are comparing the car to the bike, two items, the comparative form. Expensive is a long adjective. So we use the comparative form, more plus the adjective plus than. Football and cricket. Football is more exciting than cricket. Football is more exciting than cricket. We are comparing two items, football to cricket. So we use more exciting, the adjective, and then than. Now, look at Ahmed again. Ahmed says, Arabic is the most important subject. Arabic is the most important subject. To him, among all the subjects, Arabic is the most important. Look at Ali. Ali says, English is the most interesting subject. English is the most interesting subject. Among all subjects, to him, English is the most interesting. So, the form of the superlative adjectives is the plus most plus the adjective important or interesting or any other long adjective. So, the superlative form, it's a structure, the plus most plus the adjective again the plus most plus the adjective now let's see some other examples look at the lion here lions are the most dangerous animals lions are the most dangerous animals among all the animals lions are the most dangerous the superlative form the plus most plus the adjective dangerous again Football is the most popular game in the world. Among all the games in the world, football is the most popular. Now, dear students, after we have discussed the comparative and the superlative forms of long adjectives, it's time to practice. Find the mistakes and correct them. Again, find the mistakes and correct them. Here you have a text with some mistakes in it. You have to find the mistakes and correct them. Now, read it. Thank you. Now let's find the mistakes together. For lots of students, mathematics is a nightmare. This is right. To them, it's the more complicated subject. Can we say the more complicated subject? The superlative form of long adjectives, the more complicated. This is wrong. So the correct thing to use here is, excellent, the most the most, not the more, the most complicated subject. To them, it's the most complicated subject. Let's go on. However, others think of it as most interesting one. Most interesting one. Can we say most interesting without something preceding most? So we have to use excellent the before most, the superlative form, the 
plus most plus the long adjective. So, others think of it as the most interesting one. Let's read. They say it requires thinking, thus it's more exciting any other subject. Look at this sentence. It seems that we have something missing. What is it? A great it's then. It's then the comparative form must have then in the structure. Thus, it's more exciting than any other subject. Now, let's read the text once again. For lots of students, mathematics is a nightmare. To them, it's the most complicated subject. However, others think of it as the most interesting one. They say it requires thinking. Thus, it's more exciting than any other subject. Now, dear students, let's move to our last activity. Complete the sentences. Complete the sentences. But when you have to use the adjective, you have to figure out whether the adjective is long or short, or you have to use the comparative or the superlative form. Let's have a look here. Complete the sentences. Complete the sentences. One, I think geography is science. Use boring. Use boring. Look here, we are comparing geography to science. So, this is the comparative form. Use the comparative form of long adjectives. Excellent. More boring than. More boring than. I think geography is more boring than science. Let's see number two. Your computer is expensive. Among all the computers, yours is excellent the most expensive the most expensive the superlative form of long adjectives your computer is the most expensive three the train is the bus use fast fast is a short adjective and here we are comparing the train to the bus so use the comparative form of short adjectives excellent it's faster than faster than the train is faster than the bus. The last one. Omar is the student in the class. We are comparing Omar to the rest of the students in the class. Use thin, the short adjective. So here you have to use the superlative form of short adjectives. So the answer is thinnest. Thinnest. Omar is the thinnest student in the class. And notice here we have doubled the last consonant and and added the EST because thin is a very short adjective. Now, dear students, this is the end of our lesson for today. Today we have talked about adjectives, the comparative and the superlative forms. I hope you got benefit and enjoyed the lesson. Thank you and see you next time.